Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the man, the myth, the legend himself, Warren Buffett. He's got a lot of extra cash right now in his company, Berkshire Hathaway. Today I'm going to give you two companies that he very well could make a move on in the near future. Let's jump into it. Warren Buffett is known as one of the best investors ever. If you've been in the investing world or know anything about investing, then you've heard the name Warren Buffett. Berkshire Hathaway is the company that he runs, and it has right now nearly $277 billion in cash just sitting there, waiting to be used. And people are curious about what Buffett might do with all of that money. So if I were in charge of Berkshire's investments, I'm gonna give you two companies that maybe I would consider buying if I thought the way that Warren Buffett thinks. So these are very likely choices for the future. We're gonna see what happens. Here's number one. Company number one is Chubb, ticker CB. Buffett might be thinking about buying this company because he already owns 6.4% of Chubb, which is worth nearly about $7 billion. This is what Chubb does. They sell different types of insurance like property insurance, health insurance, life insurance. They operate in 54 countries around the world. They also offer reinsurance, which is insurance for insurance companies. This is why I think Chubb fits with the Berkshire Hathaway company with the name. Berkshire already owns insurance companies like Geico, Guard, General Re. Chubb's products would complement they would go well with what Berkshire already offers. So Chubb is a great choice. Look at the financial health just of this company. The company is consistently profitable. They make money regularly. Their stock is reasonably priced with a forward price to earnings ratio of around 12.5. Remember, your price to earnings ratio is a way to measure how expensive a stock is. This is very reasonably priced at this point. Chubb would be a great company for Berkshire Hathaway, take a lot of that cash, pour it into it. The second company that I was looking at is the Kinsale Capital Group or KNSL, ticker KNSL. The Kinsale is a lot smaller, but it's a smart addition to Berkshire. Kinsale uh, specializes in a specific type of insurance, excess or surplus insurance, also known as ENS insurance for small businesses. This is why Kinsell is so impressive, guys. It's much more profitable than its competitors. And here's the secret to their success. They have a great process for deciding who to insure, or the underwriting process is fantastic. They use technology to operate more efficiently. Here's my only concern with Kinsell. Kinsell's stock is a bit pricey, trading it over 31 times forward earnings. However, Berkshire does own a lot of other expensive stocks, so it may not be an issue. This is why I think Kinsell would be worth it, though. Kinsell stock has grown at a rate of 51% per year between 2016 and 2023. In 2024, Kinsell stock has done three times better than the S&P 500. Come on, guys. That's absolutely insane. So Berkshire Hathaway I, I love it because right now they have enough money to completely buy Chubb and Kinsell. Just own the whole companies, right? Chubb's market value is around $108 billion. Kinsell's is under $11 billion. Now, I don't know if Buffett's going to buy these companies, but they're both really strong options, not only for Buffett, but for any long-term investor that's interested in the insurance segment of the market. Anyway, guys, um, I personally do not own either one of these stocks. I do uh, have a lot of stocks that I buy. I buy up stock every single week, post a video about it right here on the channel. So subscribe if you're not a subscriber so that you can see those videos as well. I was just thinking with this video, if I was Warren Buffett with the Warren Buffett like portfolio, what companies would fit in well, which are great companies? These are great companies. And people ask me all the time, why don't you know, why are you talking about these companies if you aren't willing to buy them. Well, I can only buy so many guys, right? I buy a company, like I said, every week. 
I pick what I think for my portfolio, for my taste, is the best pick for me. But it doesn't mean that we can't talk about other companies that are absolutely fantastic. And if people own those companies, I would think that's a great decision, right? I can't own every company that I think is fantastic because there's just a wealth of companies out there. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video, guys. Leave a like, hit me in the comments, and let me know what you think would be a great addition to Berkshire Hathaway's uh, portfolio and maybe what you think he's going to do with all this extra cash. Anyway, guys, you'll have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you in the next video tomorrow. Peace.